Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how to use Iron Speed Designer's cell editor to add custom ASP.NET tags to pages. For this demonstration, I created a sample application from the Southwind database, which is included with Iron Speed. And I only asked it to create pages for the orders and categories tables to uh, keep it all simple. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the show table page. And when we drill down, we have our edit order page, where on the top we see a record control, where we see the particulars of that order. And below, we see products uh, that were included in the order. So it's a, a master detail page. For this demonstration, I'm going to introduce the ASPX accordion control, which is a uh, custom ASPX control. And I'm going to make it so that you could collapse either the top or the bottom using that control. Now doing this will require a couple of steps. Here we are in Designer and you can see that we're looking at the Edit Orders page and if I drop this down you can see we're pretty much at the top level of the page right after Master Page where we see our Record Control and we can see that Products Table Control in the container below. What we can do is we could start by doing a couple of things. The first thing we do is take our orders record control and put it in the same cell. And the reason we're doing that is we are going to surround these with the accordion control. So I, to find that we go to ASPX and other controls and there right at the top is well I'll go through them first. There's Ajax, ASPX, Gen, HTML. Uh, so we're going to take it from Ajax and I'm going to grab this control and I'm going to drag it right into the same cell. And you could see what it did. Uh, let's look at the cell editor and that's where it does everything. This is our ASPX accordion control. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to take these items and stick them in that accordion control. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this name from panel 1 to um, I'll say order record. And what we're going to do is replace the contents with a record control. To do that I'm going to copy this or cut it rather and I'm going to paste it in here. Next we have our tab container and we have our product table control. One of the things we could do is we could just uh, kill the tab container. Um, we don't really need the tab container nor do we need the tab panel. So I'm deleting all of that stuff and I'm just going to take the products table control and I'm going to cut it I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to say and then I'm going to make this title products and let's look at the whole thing so there we have it alright so let's build this and see what happens now, if we rerun the application and I click on edit order for this order, you could see that the page has changed. We're not seeing our products. We are seeing our order record, but if we click on products, the accordion control does what it's supposed to. It expands uh, the second control and it collapses the first. Now how amazingly simple is that? Pretty simple. So let's take it one step further. Let's say that in this order record control we want to swap out these text boxes 
for that collect the order date and ship date. And let's say we want to use something else like a ASPX calendar control. Well, I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back into our edit orders page. Um, we are where we were, but let's go elsewhere. Within the page, let's go to our order fields, and that's where we'll find everything. And if I scroll down, you could see that we have the order date and the ship date controls. And they're exactly where they were uh, when we looked at them. So what I'm going to do over here is under ASPX, and you can see that we had our uh, Ajax controls here, but here underneath that we have our ASPX controls, particularly the calendar control. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to take one and put it above order date. Next thing I'm going to do is rename it to CC order date. Step two is I'm going to take another one. I'm going to put it right above the ship date and I'm going to rename it to CC ship date. All right. So next thing we have to do is since we're replacing these text boxes, we kind of need to make them invisible. So to do that, we go into our properties and set the visibility to false. Do the same thing with our ship date. Now the last thing we have to do is implement a little bit of code and to do that we're going to go into the edit orders and under there we could see our edit orders .aspx.vb. Now if you were in C sharp you'd see the, the equivalent uh, C sharp file. Uh, it really doesn't matter. They both translate very well. And I'm going to go over to the load data routine. And I'm just going to paste in some code that was written. And I'm going to try to explain what this stuff does, this code. Well, first of all, I have to create our, the four objects that I need. And in order to extract the text that is in our invisible order date and ship date box and to uh, make it so that it sets those values in our new calendar control equivalents. So so here I create our, my order date. I say that it's a system web UI web control calendar and I set it equal to C type me dot find recur find control recursively and I look for that CC order date on the page and I set it to exactly what it is a calendar so now I have like a local object that I can use in this routine and I do the same thing for the second object which is our CC shipped date object uh, finally I set order date equal to the text box that it actually is on the screen and I do the same thing for ship date and I do all this so that I could simply say in this routine CC order date visible date equals convert to date order date dot text uh, and I do the same thing I say CC order date dot selected date why because visible date is going to be the month so that's so it shows the correct month on the page and selected date is so that it shows the correct day highlighted and I do the same thing for our ship date. Let's see how that looks. Well, after saving and rebuilding, we are back to our order listing page. One thing I want to point out is that if I were to click and edit this record, I would get an error. Why? Because my order date is blank and my ship date is blank, and attempting to convert those to a date value will result in an error. So if you are building this, you would want to account for the possibility of a blank uh, and prevent it from doing any conversion to date of a blank field. But we do have valid order dates for this record and ship dates. And so what I'm going to do is edit that and look at what we have. We've converted our text box dates into calendar control dates by introducing those custom controls to this page. I hope that this video has been helpful, um, but for more information you could 
visit logicaldevelopers.com or the forums or knowledge base at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.